Hi, my name is Dr. Schweinsgruber with orderreviews.org and today we're having a look at the Topping L30 amplifier and uh, this is a unit that is potentially dangerous. Uh, some of these have actually blown up and taken the headphones and earphones attached to them with them. Now let's have a look at the setup and we just tried out. I have a replacement apparently in the mail or almost in the mail. But um, let's have a look. We try to minimize the danger of electrostatic discharge or ESD that causes the internal to fry up. And the precautions I'm doing here, you see to the left a Birkenstock here, the Birkenstock. And uh, so that I will wear for so that I'm not conductive uh, towards the ground. You see to the upper right the Nivea cream that is for moisturizing my hands. You see to the upper left the power supply. You see as a source here an iPhone. Uh, you see the IFI Nano as a duck and this is the topping L30. Not sure whether rolling this up helps much in uh, the shielding is obviously good enough. But um, let's just try it out. Let's just go down here. So this is the setup and um, I do have the K-Bear Belief here and you see that the uh, that the um, Nano BL is running. Let's just play another song. Okay, and let's just, okay, so what I did, first of all, you see I put the topping on a red rubber mat and I put electrical tape around the volume button and now I am switching it on. Now it's on and, uh, and now let's see whether it uh, will blow or not. The so I've been playing the uh, topping L34 almost an hour now and it's still fine. Um, the Burr Brown duck, a chip in the uh, if a nano's duck function or circuit is actually it gives a pretty warm signal. So what I hear is actually relatively warm, although this is said to be an analytical and sterile amp. So I've been listening, not listening, I've been playing this now for almost two and a half hours now and nothing has exploded yet. And uh, I also have to say that uh, I still haven't changed my mind about the k -Bear belief. It is still very bassy and it still not doesn't show this whole setup here as you see it doesn't have the transparency I expected from a beryllium driver I want it to be and I'm not plugging in anything else because this one could be overloaded and blow up and take out the earphone or headphone at any time so I'm waiting for a replacement. So that was it from me from Dr. Schweinsgruber. Please give us a like. I know this was a shoddy video. Uh, just testing it out and um, give us a like, subscribe, donate, you know it. See you next time with a, a proper video review. I'm Dr. Schweinsgruber from Calgary. Auf Wiedersehen.